Hey there, Lacey Beyer here with The Sweet Pea Chef and today we're going to be making a roasted butternut squash bisque. This bisque is so lusciously delicious and super duper easy to make. It's so easy that the hardest thing to do is cut the squash in half. Let's get started. All right, let's get started by preheating the oven to 350 degrees. Let's talk about butternut squash. If you've never picked it out at the store, you're gonna to wanna to pick out one that has a nice even color to it and that there aren't any soft spots. And what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna actually lay it flat onto a cutting board and we're going to slice it in half, but they're kinda of tricky to slice in half. So you're gonna to wanna to start in the middle of one using a sharp knife and slice that end in the half. And then you're gonna to wanna to flip it on over and do the exact same thing. And you might notice that a little bit of it still sticks together a little bit. You might have to bring that knife through and just kind of slice through again. Just make sure you get it completely in half. Doesn't have to be pretty. We're going to be roasting it and it's going to get all mushy. So don't worry if it's an uneven cut. Now using a spoon, just go ahead and scrape out all of the membranes on the inside with all the seeds and all that stuff. You might not be able to get all of it. Just get as much as you can. Now grab a baking sheet that has rims on it because when the butternut squash roasts, it's gonna release a lot of liquid and we don't want that getting everywhere. And go ahead and line that with some tin foil. Then we're gonna grab the butternut squash and we're gonna, on the cut part, we're gonna lightly drizzle some of the olive oil and enough of the kosher salt and the pepper to just lightly cover it. Then we're gonna flip those on over and place them down onto the aluminum foil and then pop that in the oven. We're going to want to roast the squash for about an hour, so I usually set my timer for 60 minutes and then I check at that point. I'll know when it's done when I can easily insert a fork and it goes in very easily. While the squash is roasting, we're going to go ahead and dice up the carrots and the onion and just try to get those in as evenly sized pieces as possible because that way they'll cook nice and evenly. Now for this next step, I'm gonna use a Dutch oven, but you can also use a deep stock pot. Either one will work. And we're gonna heat that over medium high heat and we're gonna add in the remaining olive oil. Once that's hot, we're gonna add in the carrots and the onions that we just cut up, followed by the salt, the pepper, and the nutmeg. Stir all that up and let it get nice and hot. And we're gonna to want to cook this for about six to eight minutes until the onions become tender. Okay, so now that the squash is nice and tender, we're gonna go ahead and remove it from the oven and just allow it to cool until you can grab it with your hands. Now we wanna remove the squash flesh from the skin. So go ahead and just use a spoon and scrape the inside of the flesh so we get all of that out. And you're gonna discard all of the skin. We don't want that, it's gonna be kind of papery and you'll be able to feel the difference. Once you have all that together, go ahead and add that into the pot with the onions and the carrots. We're gonna heat that back up on medium high, and what we're wanting is just to cook that for a few more minutes, just allow everything to incorporate. Once about five minutes have passed, go ahead and add in the vegetable stock. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is heat this on medium high. We're gonna to wanna to cook until the carrots are nice and tender now. Um, it's probably gonna take about eight to 10 minutes. So just keep checking, and as soon as you can poke a fork into those carrots, you'll know they're ready. Now it's time to blend all of this stuff together. And you can either use an immersion blender or just a regular kitchen blender or even a food processor. Anything you wanna do and all we're wanting is to make sure that the texture of everything is gonna be nice and pureed. Um, I'm gonna use my immersion blender because I find that the easiest to use. I don't have to dirty anything else and I'll just get it all nice and blended. So now that it's smooth, go ahead and grab the heavy cream that is gonna make it a nice bisque texture. However, we do have a vegan bisque at this point, so if you wanted to keep it vegan, you just wouldn't add the heavy cream and instead you could substitute some almond milk. Make sure it's unflavored almond milk though. Add that in and stir it together. Okay, so at this point, just check to see if you need any additional salt or pepper, otherwise it's ready to serve. And I love to have a little bit of a drizzle of the heavy cream on top with a little bit of sprinkling of the nutmeg. I think it adds a delicious flavor to this bisque. 
so there you have it, a delicious roasted butternut squash bisque. I hope you love it as much as I do. If you're looking to print out the recipe, get the link below. And as always, subscribe to the YouTube channel to never miss a new recipe video. I'll see you next time. And yeah, no. <laughs> um, about rice. <laughs> I had no answer for that. Like the, no. <laughs> Dang it, I'm just sitting all can as is and, and bleh. <laughs> All right, let's talk about butternut squash, shall we? <laughs>